I'm Jerry. I had my twin boys in 2017, and then shortly after that, my husband, who was in the military, got the um, opportunity to go to Colorado. He came home one day and he said, I think that God is calling me to Colorado. And I said, why? Prayed about it and we both really felt that God was leading us to Colorado. You know, fast forward six months, we get to Colorado, and my husband had to leave for five weeks. Well, while he was gone, I gained 20 pounds, and <laughs> I was like, I need to start working out. And Jason's like, yeah, you should start working out. So I started working out. <laughs> I was still gaining weight, even though I was doing all the right things, but I started noticing that I was like super tired and super short of breath. We took a couple pregnancy tests, but I also have twin boys at home. Like they're barely a year old at this point. So like all of these things were attributed to like motherhood, to altitude sickness. It was just one of those things where like, I was able to justify all of these things. When Jason got home from being gone for five weeks, we made an appointment on Monday to go to the doctor. Got to the doctor Monday, she ran a full blood panel. Well, the next morning, I was so swollen that I couldn't even stand up. And I told Jason I need to go to the ER. So I drive myself to the ER because we're the only people we know in Colorado. And we, I drive to the ER and I walk in and the girl looks at me and she's like, have you ever been asked if you were in heart failure? And I'm like, no, I'm 27 years old. I'm not in heart failure, like there's no way. And she's like, I think, I think we need to run an EKG. And like before I'd even filled out my paperwork, they were running tests on me for my heart. I was diagnosed with mild heart failure, I think, and mild pulmonary hypertension. You know, this whole time I'm so angry at God. Like, I have kids, like we just had kids. We just moved across the country. We don't know anybody. Why am I the one that's sick? I have always taken care of my body. I worked out, I did all of these things. Why me? So I get to Denver and I see the specialist. He came, He asked all those questions that they do at intake. And what was so funny was the very last question on the sheet is, are you a Christian? Or like, what re religious preferences do you have? And I said, I'm a Christian. And he said, oh, cool, me too. So we went through the whole thing and he was telling me like what they were gonna do. Well, right before I left, he said, hey, do you mind if I pray for you? And I was just looking at him and I was like, that is so weird. Like, it's so weird because doctors don't pray for you. So he prayed for me. He put his hand on my shoulder and he prayed for peace and he prayed for healing and he prayed for, um, sorry. Um, and he prayed that, you know, regardless of what the situation was going to be, that uh, we, we would be closer to God at the end of it. The morning I got there, they ran an echo of my heart, just a, just normal stuff, right? And they ran the echo and the doctor comes in, not my doctor, a different doctor comes in, and he's like, hey, did they tell you what the results were? And I said, no. And he said, there's a problem. You actually are not in mild pulmonary hypertension and you're not in mild heart failure, you're actually in severe heart failure. And if you don't start treatment immediately, you're gonna die. And I just started sobbing and I was just so mad. And I was like, why me? And he was like, I'm gonna go get the doctor because you're crying and I don't know what to do. I called my husband and I'm like, you need to come, it's really bad. So I called a bunch of my friends and I said, hey, you guys start praying because it's a big deal. And they said, no problem. And I really felt those prayers. And the doctor came in and he was like, he was like, why are you crying? And I was like, because he just told me devastating news, like heartbreaking news. And he was like, he was like, he was like, you shouldn't be crying. He was like, God's got this. And I, and there's like five doctors in the room and everybody's just staring at him like, what is this guy talking about? I knew that we were in Colorado for me and not for Jason. Like we always thought that God was calling us to Colorado. Denver is actually the number one pulmonary hypertension clinic in the country. And I was told that it was a miracle that I got diagnosed. It's a miracle that I was even standing when he gave me the diagnosis because I, I shouldn't have even been able to stand. Looking back, we were like, 
You know, it was so crazy to go to Colorado. It was so crazy to like step out on faith into this unknown, just believing that God was gonna provide for us. And he provided the entire way. And today I got the results that my heart is almost functioning back to normal. My story isn't done and I don't think anybody else's is done either. I think that God is able to do miracles and I have never heard the word miracle thrown around the way it's been thrown around in my case. I know it was God. I know looking back that he provided for us the whole way. I'm a walking testimony that God does miracles.